Taff with Revolutions in Fitness. Today I'm going to show you how to use the trigger point ball to release a tight shoulder. My right shoulder is a little on the tight side today after a swim workout yesterday. If you want to look at my range of motion behind my back, I'm having a hard time even getting my thumb up to my shoulder blade area just with how tight my shoulder is. So I'm going to use the trigger point ball to release a few major muscle groups in and around the shoulder and then we'll relook at my motion and see if it improves. Um, so we're going to focus on releasing the pecs and then the rhomboids in between the shoulder blade and the spine and then the back of the shoulder where you have your rotator cuff uh, tendons come through and attach onto your arm bone. So as you're going to be uh, mobilizing, you're going to be facing the wall for the first part to get into the pecs. Biggest thing uh, you're going to do, one, is you're going to move around just a little bit to kind of self-diagnose and find the areas that feel a little bit tight. Once you've found a tight area, you're going to breathe into it, take a couple nice deep breaths in, and then back out. Just try to melt into the ball if, if you can. Um, once you've taken a couple deep breaths, you're actually going to go ahead and try to move um, and try to work a little bit of mobility in the shoulder while you have that pressure on that particular tender spot. So let's do the pecs first. I'm going to lean against the wall. And then I'm going to work along the collarbone, okay, and ultimately I'm trying to find a spot that's a little tender, and right about here I get a tender spot, so I'm going to go ahead and breathe into it. And now I'm going to start to move through it. So after a couple reps of that, I actually start to feel that knot or that tenderness loosen a little bit. Now we're going to take the ball and we're going to go in between the shoulder blade and the spine. I'm going to lean against the wall and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move around a little bit until I find a nice tender spot, which right about there I feel it. A couple deep breaths. Try to feel like your body's melting into the ball. And then I'm gonna do a few motions. I'm gonna do a couple John Travolta diagonal patterns. I'm gonna work a little over my head. I'm gonna try a little behind my back. Okay. Felt that one. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to go right behind the shoulder and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do my little assessment first. Yeah, right there. All right, a couple of deep breaths. Same thing, I'm going to go ahead and start to move, mobilize the soft tissue while I have the pressure on it. Yeah, it's definitely tender. I'm going to try a couple behind my back. Okay. All right. So now, I'm just going to reassess where my shoulder's at. After a little bit of soft tissue release, I'm a little higher than the base of my shoulder blade. So base of the shoulder blade is here. Um, it's just a level or two higher than that. So I've gained a couple of degrees of motion and my shoulder feels significantly less tight behind my back and it's not painful at all.